internet hi bosun here this week i am going to basically start trying to dial in these settings as we saw last week i managed to make this lovely cube um but it wasn't quite 100 percent to the right sizing and scaling and i'm not too sure about the way the you know is the nozzle giving out the right amount etc so not much point hanging around let's get on with this right okay the first stage will be getting the e steps correct now the e steps is the uh, the steps to which the amount of filament is pushed through there into your hot end and out on there so is it pushing out what it thinks it's pushing out so i'm going to need to adjust that now the video i have watched which i will link up just here is uh, one by zen master another youtuber and he's done an amazing job and it's basically his part one and part two tutorials i'm going to be following here so if i'm a little bit kind of i am you don't think i've covered everything properly here or whatever i do urge you to go and watch his videos because without them i wouldn't know what i'm doing right now well i could have trawled the internet like for hours reading through forums and that but as you're aware if you're here already watching i'm a visual learner so it's far better for me to watch things on videos and learn stuff that way so i'm hoping that if you could pop over and have a little look at his uh videos on that there and he's got some other great videos about different hot ends and different other models of 3d printer as well but anyway i'm gonna get started on now trying to figure out how to um get my e steps correct from my printer let's go on with this okay now the first thing i'm gonna have to do on here is if i'm following his technique will be measuring from the entrance point here down a set given length marking off so say i know in his ones for example i'll follow the same size as he did 120 mil down i'll mark it off and then you tell it to basically extrude 100 mil and if it's correct that mark should then be 20 millimeters away from the entry point there so what you need to do you need to get it all up to temperature get it all up to what it would be when it was running and what you'd be printing at so then when you push it through, it should hopefully be going through correctly. Let's get on with this. Okay, um, I apologize for the sound because uh, now the printer is running and we all know that messes with my sound. I asked it to extrude 100 millimeters worth of uh, filament. And I'm done, like Zen, Zen Master says, I've done it at 120 mil, I put the mark. And if it had been correct, it would be 20 millimeters away. It was 37.15 millimeters away, which means in fact, it only extruded 82.85 millimeters of filament. So as we can tell, it was not extruding anywhere near what it thought it was. So every time it was asking for 10 mil it was only going to get about eight and a bit 8.2 mils worth of filament so no wonder i was having slight probably feed issues and what have you because the e steps were not enough so now i just have to apply the formula that zen master gives up which is uh, the amount asked for divided by the amount got take that figure and then multiply it by the current e steps so time for me to do that okay so i have run the maths first of all i looked at my e steps on the controller i will go through that later uh, and i found out it was currently running at 83.1 steps per millimeter so i took the formula that was hand which was the amount that i asked for which was 100 millimeters divide that by the amount i got which was 82.85 which equaled 1.207 I then multiplied that by the 83.1 and that gave me a grand total of 100.30175 and a few other little squiggly numbers. So I now have to recap, reset my uh, E steps for 100.3 basically and then we can check it after that and see if it's moving on at the right steps. Okay, so I've now re-entered the new setting, 100.3. So I'm now just gonna mark this up and then re-measure it again, 
extrude another 100 millimeters sorry then measure it again and see if we're back to where we sh where we should be now rather than where we were okay that's it now technically extrude another 100 mil let's see if it's right okay i wanted to try and make my marks as sharp and easy to define as possible so i used a very nice sharp tip pencil problem is i can't find it this time so i'm gonna mark it with pen then nick it with a knife so there should be a little red line then in the black of the felt pen and then see how that looks either that or it's fed that whole 120 mil in and so it's now feeding too much let's have a little look anyway so right i've marked that again let's tell it to extrude another 100 mil okay it's just stopped and at least i can still see my black mark so i know it hasn't gone all the way through let's measure it radio i asked for 100 and i got 101 mil so i'm just going to redo my math see if it changes it so significantly it's worth worrying about one mil over 100 that's only like one percent so let me just quickly redo the math and see if it's worth changing the e-steps okay the new math says 99.3 so i'm gonna pop that in see how it looks and if it goes a little the other way then i'll hit i'll hit mid ground of the two so let's do that okay that is now done that let's measure it again okay like an idiot i actually recalculated the e-steps and <laughs> actually forgot to put them into the unit ain't gonna help if i don't put them in there is it all right let's try doing this again properly it wouldn't let me do 99.3 which is what i've calculated the new one that should be but let me do 99.5 i'm feeling quite good about that let's try it okay i've now screwed up twice because that time i redid re-enter all the new things but i forgot to mark the filament i'm doing good tonight i'll be honest my head isn't in the game but I did manage to very quickly measure the width of I've been carefully trying to take that out as it came and I have measured the width of the extruded stuff without any uh, distortion as best as I can tell on several places there and it's 0.4 so I'm quite happy the head diameter on this is 0.4 at least so let's actually mark this up this time let's try again right out it's done this time with the uh, new steps and with me marking it yay bang on 20 left oh yeah i think that is now my sweet spot for that obviously the 99.5 so i'm happy with that i'm quite happy with that so now what i'm going to be doing is uh, i watched uh zen masters part two of his thing where he had a test piece that he used now i didn't download his but i do remember what it looked like roughly and what have you and so i quickly went on to, uh one two three t design knocked up the same shape and basic thing the key element of this was i made an object with the walls at 0.4 thickness which should be what this is laying down so hopefully then we can tell if it is doing what it should be doing uh, i'm going to move on to that now i suppose and here you can see the uh settings that i'm going to be using for the printouts today okay i'm now going to print one of these test pieces out and let's see how this goes i did clean off my bed but i haven't managed to get any blue printers tape uh painter's tape sorry or anything like that so i'm gonna have to use or a glue stick and i've only just cleaned this glass so i don't really want to use it but needs a must <clears throat> I 
Okay, it's trying to print out this um, test piece here. Now it's not coming out like it should. It should have been, as far as I was aware, drawing around in one easy circle. I might have to just download uh, the Zen Masters uh, test piece. Uh, but I'm not probably going to have time to get that done tonight and get that downloaded and do that. Uh, but what I will do now is I'm going to uh, uh, print just for another minute or two. But what I'm going to do then is I'm happy that I've got the E steps at least really close. On the rough kind of setup, I had 100 mils exactly going through. So I'm happy that that's all right. So what I want to do now is now I've got that close enough. So I think the problem I'm having with this print here is not the not the printer maybe, but probably the model. It's one I made myself. First time I've tried to do something with thin walls like that, so maybe I screwed up in the settings or something. So I will have to come back to that one. So what I will do now is I will load up one of my uh, pieces that I designed for doing X, Y, Z uh, calculations and. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Calibrations. That's the one. Calibrations. So I'll cancel this and I'll see you in a second when I'm ready to print my first, uh, my calibration piece for this. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm now just going to start printing the test piece for measuring and setting up my X, Y and Z axis. Also, while I'm recording this, uh, the memory card on the camera filled up. <clears throat> so I quickly swap them over so in the time lapse there may be a little break a little jump here and there and a little movement of the camera and stuff my apologies these things can't be helped Okay, I've just finished printing off the uh, piece I was going to try and do, use for my measurement test piece and I can use it to a degree for my X and Y. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use it for my Z. Uh, if you can see on this one here, it's got quite a lot of uh, this bit was supposed to be square all the way up, not this mush thing. And now the other day when I printed out my little robot dude, he mushed up about the same level. So, although this one, when I printed this the other day, I managed to go all the way and get all the way to the top, no problem. So, I don't know what's going on here. Um, the height might be right enough to use, although there is a little hole in the top as per all the little ones. So, I'm just going to try and use this, measure my X and Y, uh, figure out if the uh, X, stop, X steps and Y steps are okay. Uh, and then have a little measure of the thing because if you have a look at this here the way I did it was I wanted 30 mil that way by 30 mil that way and the idea was the top of here down to there should have been exactly 30 now I didn't want to measure from top to right down to the glass base because the bottom layers will normally get squished or slightly distorted so they you know they're not very good accurate layers from what I understand to you put into your measurements so I thought well, if I make that nice and flat there and exactly 30 mil up from there and just do this little bit because I didn't want to waste time printing stuff. Uh, whether or not it's too hot, something's happening, I don't know. But I'll give this a little measure now and I'll see how we sit with um, my steps and etc.
Right, at the moment I cannot get this off the glass. It is on there solid. So I'm going to measure it while it's attached to the glass just because I can. Rayo, I have done my measurements and the X was supposed to be 30. It was 30.5, so pretty close anyway. Uh, the Y was 30.3 uh, instead of 30, so that was really close. And the Z, if this can be trusted, which I'm not entirely sure it can, was 30.9. So whereas this was set for 80.5 steps uh, for the X and the Y, According to my new calculations, the X should be 79.18 steps and the Y should be 79.7 steps. So just under the 80 there on them. And the Z steps, it said originally on here it should be 406. If I use those new calculations, it says it should be 394.2 or whatever. Now, I hope to popped all of them in print another piece out see if i calculated it all correctly i hope i'm doing this correctly for the xyz i haven't watched any videos on that i'm just assuming you use the same process as you do with the extruder and what have you you know what it should be you see what you got modify it from there so i'm pretty happy on that i'm also really sorry that i haven't got the close-ups of the control panel whilst doing all those uh, e-step changes and etc um it's something i forgot about at the time i've only just thought about it now but i really do have to pack up for the night i do have work in the morning um but like i said if you watch that video by zen master you will see all of that he goes through all of that and one of the things he does talk about which i need to sort out is at the moment i haven't got the ability to save the settings onto the printer at the moment um, once i switch this off and then um reboot it and etc i'm gonna have to adjust all those e steps and uh, x steps and y steps and etc again anyway so that's why i've not bothered to go ahead and pop them in there and what have you so sorry i haven't got the close-up of this uh doing all that this week um it will come up don't worry i will go through it once i've got this all dialed in hopefully i'll do another video with a little bit more where I'm not trying to figure it out, but more telling you how it's done rather than me going, this is how you do it, I think. Anyway, let's go into the outro. Okay, so I have managed to, as far as I'm aware now, get the extruder kind of dialed in. I feel like I can quickly uh, get the X and the Y and the Z sorted out once I figure out what this height issue is. It seems to be at the moment when I get to a certain height, it just goes all a little bit wrong that is all twisted up and what have you so i don't quite know what's gone wrong there maybe a few more test prints now unfortunately i've not got a lot of time this is now tuesday night the videos always go out on the thursday uh so i've got to get all this in all uploaded onto the computer and then tomorrow night is pure edit night so i don't have time right now to continue this as what the way i would like anyway i hope you've enjoyed this uh if you do you know hit the like subscribe and all of those lovely normal pieces of jazz uh, i can also be found at high bosun on twitter it's where i usually hang out if you've got any ideas of why this could be going a little bit wrong as it goes further up please let me know um Hopefully next time I do a video with this printer, it'll, I'll be a lot further along with it and have it dialed in a little bit. I even had a little model I designed that I really wanted to print out. Uh, just a simple name plaque thing, but didn't get there today. Just didn't quite get there. Anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you again next week. Bye.